What's interesting to me is actually animals rather than the bones themselves. Animals in the past in particular and how people interacted with those animals in the past and what that tells us about people. So in that sense, bones are really fascinating because they are a record. It's like opening a book and saying, oh, this is a book of this animal's life. This is a horse calcaneus. So this is for on the humans, the analogous part is the heel. Um, it's positioned a little bit differently when you're talking about an animal that's on four feet, but, but that's more or less what it is. One of the things that we'll look at is, okay, are there any marks on here? Is anything that show us that it's been, um, that there's a cut mark on it or that there's some kind of arthritis? On this one, one of the things we can see is that this is a juvenile horse. This back here, this rough area tells us that this is unfused. So this horse was relatively young. What we've been doing is going through collections to see, okay, is there anything in here that is a horse? This is one that we're probably going to send out for radiocarbon testing to see, okay, was this actually a very early horse? Are our dates on the site wrong? Or is this something that got mixed into the collection much later in some other way that we don't know? Um, that This process of sending things for radiocarbon dating has been really integral to what we've been doing. So there are a bunch of sites, for instance, where there's a horse and finding it Scientists have been like, oh, this is an indigenous site. It's got a horse in it. The horse must be, it must be intrusive, as in it must come, it must be from later, um, after Europeans were around and we know horses were here. Or it must be really early, as in this must be a horse from the ice age. Horses lived in the Americas prior to the end of the Ice Age and then they died out. Um, and so that's where that confusion comes in. So just as one example, there was a horse that had been assumed to be an Ice Age horse, but going back and looking at it again, it was very clear looking at the pathologies on the horse, the different ways in which the bones had been altered. This was a horse that was ridden. Um, and so we were able to say, yeah, this is probably a horse that was ridden by Shoshone peoples. You know, um, this is an, an early indigenous horse rather than an Ice Age horse or a European horse. The dates that we've gotten so far, they suggest that the horse spread throughout the western part of North America earlier than we previously thought. And so that it, they suggest that by the middle of the 17th century, we see horses integrated into indigenous societies and um, as, far as, as far north as Wyoming and Montana. Um, so not just in places like in New Mexico, where you find horses at the missions, of course, but you know, those may have just been horses that the Spanish were using, we don't know. What we know about how the horse came to the Americas in the 16th and 17th century is almost entirely from Spanish documents, um, or European documents, I should say, because Europeans would write about, oh, we saw horses here, we saw horses there. and. At the same time, we know that when the horse came in, indigenous societies of the Americas adopted them with great gusto and often developed traditions where the horse is really important spiritually and culturally. But we have no documentation of that. We don't even know exactly when it happened um, because we're always relying on these European accounts and Europeans often weren't there. But the bones are our best hint to when this happened and it's putting indigenous people back into the picture one part of this project is going out and talking to indigenous people about horses. And traditionally, scientists and historians have really dismissed that viewpoint from the whole story of horses. It's all been about the Spanish reintroduced the horse and then this happened. So the thing that's most exciting to me about this is that by focusing on indigenous interactions with the horse, we can maybe center those indigenous stories more than has happened before.